All right, so today EA release Antonio Rudiger as a moments player, obviously recently transferred from Chelsea to Real Madrid, arguably one of the best centre-backs in world football currently as well. This card is going to cost you an 88, 87 and 86 rated squad, probably the replacement and a lot of your teams for Eder Militao. Now, <clears throat> if we compare them both just on the face card stats, Rudiger has better pace, better dribbling, uh, better defending and physical and better passing. So he is a better card than Eder Militao all round. Uh, obviously, does he actually have the crown above his head or is that a glitch? It's a glitch. Okay. So yeah, 92 pace, 87 dribbling, which is really good. 85 passing, 98 physical and 98 defending. Six foot three, medium high work rate. So I'm hoping with the 87 dribbling, that's not ball control and stuff. I'm hoping he's got really good agility and balance. In terms of his traits for a defender, the only thing you're really after is the power header trait, which he does have, which is good to see. I'm also hoping that, that the 92 pace is a good split as well, and it's not like 99 sprint speed and 90 acceleration, for example. Um, we're really hoping for the acceleration to be really good <clears throat> and the sprint speed to be really good. So let's take a look at that now. Really, really good pace split there to see with 93 acceleration and 92 sprint speed. 80 vision with a 95 short pass and 92 long pass. Very, very good for a centre back. And then moving on to the dribbling, he's also really well versed here as well with 83 agility and balance with 99 reactions and 94 ball control. He's then got 82 dribbling and 99 composure. So him having the 99 reactions and composure is very important as um, they're two of the most important stats on a defender um, in the early game, at least for FIFA. If you don't have that at the end game of FIFA, your centre-backs just are not going to be good enough up against the 98-99 rated attackers that we currently have on the game. And obviously, the better agility and balance you can get on your centre-backs, the better because what that allows you to do is kind of be able to jockey faster. Um, obviously, centre-backs are not known for being fast with their jockeying, but now with the centre-backs having this good agility and balance, you will see decent jockeying from them. Like Gold Virgil van Dijk at the start of the game feels really, really poor on the jockeying side of things. That's because the agility and balance is just woeful. But seeing this card with a big boost to that is really good to see. Then in terms of actual defensive stats, we're looking at 96 interceptions, 97 headed accuracy, 99 defensive awareness, and 99 stand tackle. With 95 slide, but largely irrelevant, as I always say in my videos, you don't really slide tackle too much on FIFA. It's more about the AI side of the things. Um, stand tackle and inceptions. Having a good head and accuracy is going to be good from obviously defend, defending corners and stuff, but more so in the opposition's box as well. So the 97 head and accuracy mixed with the 99 jumping and being six foot three is really good to see. 95 stamina is good, but you don't really need that on centre backs either. You can play with a centre back on 60 stamina and they will go for the full 90, minute, 90 minutes, no problem. Then he's got 99 strength and aggression. This card is bonkers and there are a few options you can do with this card, right? If you want to play with him and just fully max out the pace, you go and get a Catalyst probably. Um, I'd probably say a Catalyst. I should have one in the club just to show you guys what I mean. Obviously, it's a recommended chemistry style there too. Um, I think the Catalyst is a good one because you know his defender stats are already basically maxed out. Um, so applying this to him, you get the max speed. You get the boost to the passing. You know, he goes up to 99 long pass and 99 short pass which is good. And then I also think the other chemistry style that you could apply to this card, I don't currently have in a club, I'm gonna to have to go buy one because this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna use and it's going to be the engine. Now, the reason I think the engine is gonna be really good on Tony Rudiger <clears throat> is because of how this game kind of plays now with needing lots of um, good agility and balance on your center backs. And what this is gonna allow us to do we're going to get a small pace boost. We're going to get a small small passing boost. But more importantly, we're going to get that big boost to the agility and balance. Taking it up to a 90 in the balance, I think, and then like 88 for the agility, if I'm not mistaken. Let's apply that and let's have a look. So there you go. So plus five to the pace, taking him up to 97 pace, but more importantly, 98 acceleration. He gets plus five to his vision, taking it up to 85. He's then maxed out almost on short pass and long pass. Short pass is maxed out. Long pass is almost maxed out at 97 there. And we've got 88 agility and 93 balance with then 92 dribbling as well. This card is ridiculous. Definitely better than Edo Militao on paper. We're linking him up with Rafa Varan, and then we're playing the 4-1-2-1-2 or the 4-3-1-2 with Ericsson at right back, Rudiger, Varan as the centre-halves. 
Then Hernandez playing at the left back spot. I'm going to let a lot of players come on to me and fight champs here to see how good Rudiger is. But let's get into a game with him and see how he does perform. Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. All right, guys, first game with Tony Rudiger. This guy's got a really good team. He's got a Bele Pele's uh, shapeshifter and David Ginola. He's got Timon Season Salah, Graven Birch, Arline Prime. He's got the new showdown Pogba, Cordova, Maldini, Lacroix, and, and Alfonso Davies with Neuer in there. <clears throat> but yeah, for this review, you know, I, I don't necessarily always review centre backs. I think that's quite poor from me. Um, especially, you know, centre backs are harder to review when. You're playing at a low elo in champs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good sprint boost on him as well. Oh, my God. He feels rapid into Erling. See, and this is the problem, right? You're, you're more so bet, better off doing um, clips with cards like this. But just to show you guys how raw it is and how important it is to show you how, how, how raw the review is, I kind of like keeping it like this. Go on, then, Tony. Oh, he's nearly bloody scored. Oh, David. They went to the back stick. Harlan knocks it down. Oh, that's really poor from Harlan. Go on, Rudiger. No, okay. He does feel really fast, though. A lot faster than um, Militao, actually. Ah, uh, his jockey is... Oh, my God, he is good. That might be the new best centre-back on the game. We thought it was Chiellini for a long while. It might now have just... What the hell? It might now have just changed to... Antonio Rudiger. It really might have. Feels so good on the jockey. And he feels so quick off the mark. Which is good defensively and bringing the ball forward as well. Yeah, this guy does seem really decent. <clears throat> nice from Zizou there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a, bad, a bit of a bad sore, sore throat at the moment. In St. Maximin, you guys don't really need to see this on a centre-back review. It's more so we just care about, you know, the defensive side of things. And him bringing the ball forward, of course. Um, which is able to do quite well. Where is he there? Oh, I see him. Look at that jockey, though. Know. Oh, he's hit it. Oh, that's a good goal, to be fair. I've got to give him some credit for that. I would try that. Good goal, good goal. Sat off too much there. We're going to have to try to get back into this game. Go on in, Erling. Go on, Erling. Oh, that's really poor for me. What is his R9 doing back there? Oh, fair enough. This guy's uh, very, very decent, isn't he? All right. We'll get back into the game, though. We always do. Nice from Tio there. Into David Ginola. Ah, I've done too much with that there. Hold on. Go on in, Erling. Bangs it. Oh, wow. He's got to score that, really, hasn't he? Does he come into the box for corners? No, he doesn't. That's really disappointing. That's really disappointing. Paul LeBeal on the edge, though. Oh, that's nice. Pogba. Oh, good defending. Uh-oh. I know what he's trying to do. Got to mark him out. You bring Rudiger forward now. He does feel really fast. You can see that as well, can't you? Got to be careful against this guy. I tell you what, though, Rudiger's really, really, really hard to defend, uh, sorry, attack against because of. Oh, that's good defending again. Because of how aggressive he is and how quick he can get off the mark. It's actually kind of kind of crazy. See this card in action. I mean, we are talking about one of the best centre backs on the game here. 100%. Good save, Courtois. <clears throat> right, I've got to wake up a little bit now. I've done a lot of defending with Rudiger. We now need to get a goal. Win that, please, Dembouz. No, never mind. We really do need to get a goal now. Oh, this guy's a finessed merchant like myself. Okay, let's see what he's like from Corns if he doesn't play it short. Win that, please. Oh, he has won it. That was good defending that. Just. Go on in, Haaland. Nice. Oh, that's not where I've aimed it. Oh, this guy's a demon. Honestly. Nice then, Booz. Oh, he's so annoying. At least he's a good player, though, so it's a good test for Tony Rudiger. Go 
It does feel really good jockeying wise though. Really good jockeying wise. He's gonna whip it, yes he is. Tio, you gotta win that, nice. And the afters. Nice from Rudiger again there. He's really, 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 really good. I know we're 1-0 down in this game, to my own to my own fault, you know. Um but he is an absolute brick in that defence. 100%. It's good defending again from this guy. The Quar's not bad either, obviously. Nice. Is that foul ref? Oh my god. Oh, this guy is really getting away with it. It's good defence and defending. It's good defending from him though. I'm going to have to track back with Rudiger there. Nice, that's nice. We can drive out with him here too. Into that space. Look at him go. Look at him go. Nice from Denbu's into Zizou. Oh yes, all made from Rudiger actually as well. Driving out, and then we got the the space there from Zidane coming in, and that's uh, that's one all, and I think that's quite deserved actually. I do like him a lot though, guys. I think his I, I honestly think he's better than Varane because he feels a lot better on the ball. Oh my god! As soon as I say it. His marking looks really good as well. He seems to be on the ball properly. Careful here. Nice from Varane. Never mind. Nice from Varane again there. <clears throat> I mean, I, th I, th I honestly think this is the best partnership on the game. I really, really do. Come on in, Ireland. Make this guy force the issue a little bit. Oh, no. Too much, too much. I wish that Harlan had five-star skills, guys. I really, really do. Harland. Oh, it's red timed, but it doesn't matter because it's Harland. I say it's 2-1, guys. And Rudiger has been an absolute mountain for us in that first half. Against a very good player. I'll bring you back for the second. All right, then, guys. Second half is underway. Against a very sweet opponent. A, a, what is wrong with me today? Opponent? Jesus Christ. Right, anyway. We're going to try and get one more goal. I'm going to just kind of sit back a little bit and try and test out Rudiger defensively. I thought that was going to be it there. Um, and obviously, we want to see what he's like in the air. It's a shame he doesn't come forward from corners. I know we've got a lot of tall players in the team now, so it makes sense kind of as, as to why he doesn't. Look at that. That I tell you something. Having that ability to be able to do that with your centre-back is so, so underrated. You don't really ever get to see it until late into the game cycle. But when you do get to that level of, of, of the game where your centre-back's able to push out and you're, you're so confident um, in his ability to push out, it's really, really valuable. Look at this. Look at how powerful he is going forward. I mean, I rate that so much. I think that's really, really undervalued on FIFA. Because not, not many players can do it. Not many centre-backs can do it even, is what I meant to say. Oh, my God. Now, that was very, very ambi ambitious, that was. Nice from Zizou there. I actually just want to try a long shot with him, because he's actually got sick long shots in real life. Go on in, Rudiger. Go on in, Rudiger. Oh, my Lord. Oof. Back into him. Tony. Oh, yes. Oh, he's gone. Look at him go. Little dink into the box. No, that's turning Haaland. And I didn't put any power on it either. He is an absolute animal, though, man. I think you could play him at right back as well, you know. Be careful here. That's good defending. Where's Rudiger? Oh, he's banged it from distance. Fair play. Knocks one up to Erling. He should win that every day of the week. Very nice. And then you can just drive into spaces with him, right? He's really, really good. And you can trust him physically as well. Man, he's an absolute beast. Oh, yes. Into him. You wouldn't dare, Reese. You wouldn't dare, Vibes. You wouldn't dare. Oh, my God, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. And I knew he had good long shots, but not on FIFA. I didn't actually see his long shot stat because I was so interested in his, his uh, passing and stuff. Oh, my Lord. Rudiger is an absolute beast, guys. Careful here, though. Look at that jockey in though, man. It's, he's so quick, the jockey. And that is just so valuable on FIFA. I can't explain it to you. 
And nobody really thinks about that, but he is just an absolute beast because of how quick his jockeying is. Is he onside? It's a brilliant pass for Haaland. Okay. Bangs it. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is going on? <clears throat> Have I not scored there? Little one. Bangs it. No. Okay. Never mind. I've lost the plot here, guys. And so is the game by the looks of it. Win that. Yes, Rudiger. Ah, too much on that. This guy had enough now. Or is his controller just died? It doesn't matter to us, does it, guys? Okay, he's paused it. I'll bring you back. All right, guys, so he's back. Um, he wasn't playing for a little minute there, but he is back now. So he will do the rest of the game live. <clears throat> but I was, just, I was just literally messing around there because um, he, he wasn't actually playing. So, yeah, he's back now. I did score one goal, obviously, and you saw that. Oh, Ericsson. He's got to defend this well. He's going for that finesse shot. Oh, he isn't. Good defender from Tio though. We haven't actually tried out his passing. We might not get the opportunity to here. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, this card's good. I mean, it's such a shame this... <clears throat> a card like this has came out so late into the cycle. Because th this, th this one here is different gravy. He is so good. Like, oh my God. He has just been absolutely levered though. Brilliant, brilliant card, guys, I have to say. Better than this for Ran, 100%. Don't know why I can't switch player, though. Hello? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, he's better than Varan. 100% my favourite centre-back on the game, just based off this game here. Um, it's quite easy to tell when you're playing at a high elo, though, if you've got the card or not that you want. I see that passing. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> he just is really, really good, guys. Um, I've got nothing else to really say on the matter. I like you there, Neuer. And it is a big disappointment that he isn't there for the corners. Uh, but I guess that's just unlucky. You know, we're in the 85th minute now. Let's try and... Let's just have a bit of fun with Rudiger. I know he's got a banger on him. I know he's got a banger on him. Rudiger! Oh, my God, he's hit the bar again! Doesn't matter, though. Oh, let's go. No, he's offside. Never mind. Oh, my God, he's hit the bar again. He's a centre-back, remember? He's a centre-back. Jesus Christ. This, is the, this card can do it all. And I, and I know that FIFA, you don't really need to have ball-playing centre-backs. But this is just different. This card is just different. He's so like good physically. So good on the dribbling. It's just different, man. Why has he just tried that then? A little long one up there. Oh, that's poor from really good, that one. I'm not going to lie. We're at the end of this game, guys. It's been fun to play this one. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> what a finesse shot. This guy doesn't even time him. Fair play. But yeah, but brilliant uh, brilliant performance from Rudiger here. You can see what kind of card he is, you know. Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Oh, Haaland. It's a joke. There we go, guys. Right at the end of the game, I'll be back for the final part of the review. All right, guys. So review done on Antonio Rudiger. Now, this card is not even that expensive, right? With an 88, 87, and 86 rated squad. And we are talking about a card that absolutely destroys Ed Eminatau, a card that I personally think destroys Varane. And I think the reason is, is because he's got like a leaner body type, or a more lean body type, I should say, than Varane. Varane takes the very long strides where Rudiger doesn't. Um, and obviously there's a massive discrepancy in the uh, agility and balance of these two cards, right? And Rudiger just feels different. His passing is immaculate. Um, his agility and balance and just general jockeying is crazy. Um, his general dribbling outside of that is brilliant as well. We'll get more into that in a moment, but I want to talk over the important stats first. Defensively, absolutely brilliant tackles. Some of the best AI overviews as well. But we're really talking about the best card on the game defensively, physically. Um, <clears throat> when I tell you he doesn't lose anything in the air... Um, he is so strong and so aggressive. He is just different levels to any centre-back I've used this year. And honestly, in previous years either. The only card I can say that was this impactful on a team for me would be Kleber from last year, his showdown card. Um, that's how good Kleber was. And this really good card is different. And I was talking about his dribbling being so good. And if you don't watch the gameplay, I'd highly recommend you do so you get to see the raw gameplay. We played one live game with him um, at High Low and Champs. And his ability to bring the ball out is just absolutely incredible. He can drive the ball out. You know, you can sprint boost with him, which actually works with Rudiger. 
Um, driving to space is because he's so fast, he can just ram through people, and then you've got his physicality and more so his strength. He's able to hold off most players. He's kind of like a centre-back version of Moussa Dembele was at Tottenham, um, if that makes any sense. He is just so good at bringing the ball out from the back. And I never thought that that was really valuable in FIFA, but I have found it this year that having the ability to have ball-playing centre-backs is really valuable, and Rudiger is the best on the game at that um, by a considerable distance. He is so much better than Militao. Just because Militao doesn't really feel that strong, Rudiger feels like the mountain out of Game of Thrones. He is that powerful, so strong, um, and he's just so, so fast as well. For me, guys, the value for this one, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. And the quality of the card, I'm going to have to go for a 13 out of 10. This is the best centre-back on the game. He's better than Varane, I promise you. Get this one done. Get rid of Militao at your team. And if you have Varane and you already have your next centre-back that you prefer, go and get rid of Varane. I'm telling you, Rudiger is the best centre-back on the game. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell to see this pair of you. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now, so take care.